First into the tank is a way to work out like a hero. Hey Sharks, my name is Sarah Apgar. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm the founder and CEO of FitFighter. I'm seeking $250,000 for 15% equity in the company. I'm an Iraq War veteran, women's rugby All-American from Princeton, volunteer wow. firefighter, spouse of a West Point grad and fellow Army vet, and mom of two gorgeous little girls. And I invite you to train like a hero, like our nation's bravest, with the most versatile and durable fitness product on the market. The Fit Fighter Steel Hose. Made in the USA from real fire hose, recycled steel shot, and brass grommets. The steel hose is both a free weight and a resistance tool with countless grips on the hose itself. Under, over, mixed grip, and single arm. And eight ways to layer on the body, at the neck, chest, elbow, shoulder, side, hip, back, and wow. ankle. I know. The steel <laughs> hose system is a complete full body strength, power, and conditioning program. We can work basic strength for your everyday mission, hauling gear and kids, train for rotational sports. And finally, grip strength for climbing, your golf swing, Robert, or the mayonnaise jar. <laughs> <laughs> All that without switching our tool and safe for our floors, toddlers, and toes. Wow. Sharks, with your help, this product and training system will bring the strength and spirit of public service to households, training centers, and athletic fields nationwide and turn every American watching into the next fit fighter. Wow. Yeah. Fabulous. So that the question is, are you ready too? Because I need a team. So it's your turn. If you'll stand up on your feet and join me, Sharks. Awesome. So you each have a steel hose set in front of you. I recommend my favorite hose is the one I worked with, the 15. The 15. Okay. Mark's just yeah. bragging. What are we going to oh, do with it? Oh, I can't do it with my head, but I'll try okay anything else. Is it okay for me to do the little well, one? Well, Mark's doing 35. Why I'm did gonna... I know that was going to happen? So what I want you to do is just stand strong and tall for me, and I want you to lift that above your head. It's going to feel a little different than weights you're used to. Put your arm out to the side. It does feel okay? different. All I want you to do is come down to your shoulder and squat. As you do that, press everything back up. Okay, optional. You can come down, up, and over your head and get a sense for how soft and malleable oh, 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 oh. that is. Excellent. Let's bring it out front. So you're gonna come side to side. Okay, that one's gonna be hard with the 35. Okay, and then final move, optional, underhand, and you're gonna just give it a flip. There you go. <laughs> awesome job, Sharks. Your first steel hose moves ever. Thank you so much. Love to talk some oh, more. Oh, jeez, I broke the table. <laughs> did you really? I did. Sarah. Oh, Robert. Why is the experience so positive? Because it does feel much more enjoyable oh. than the weights. Why, why, why is that? That yeah. was so hard. As I mentioned, it's made from real fire hose, and the original intent was to mimic a fire hose charged with water. When I joined my volunteer uh. fire department, I noticed there was a gap between the fitness training in the gym and what really happened out there on the fire ground. The obvious place to start was how to mimic charged hose without pulling hose off the trucks, charging it on the hydrant with water. Once we had prototyped this in the firehouse, I then went to the FDNY Training Academy, the premier institution for training in the world for firefighters. And I walked into the fitness director's office. I said, I've got something special for you to see. And there was a moment of magic. He immediately agreed. And the FDNY was my first major client Good on our you, fire man. service yeah. side. I want to understand two things. Mm -hmm. One, what did you do in the military? Mm -hmm. And number two, why did you join to be a volunteer firefighter? When I was looking at college, the ROTC scholarship was an option to pay tuition to Princeton. And so I left college and went straight into the military as a second lieutenant. And after nine months of training, was on a charter aircraft to Mosul to support the 101st Airborne Division's reconstruction of Northern Iraq. So I was a 23-year-old platoon leader and my youngest soldier, I lost my youngest soldier under my command. He was 19 at the time. And I remember that night 
huddling my platoon up around me and kneeling down in the center. And I just thought, this is, this is the moment. This is one of the most important moments of my life, that leadership moment to get us through. So when I left the service, I really, there was something really powerful about that community and camaraderie um, that I missed. And I vowed that I would always work to honor the memory of that soldier that I lost. And so I did my MBA and I was um, also pregnant with my first baby girl. And I was feeling like this desire to have the camaraderie back. I thought that joining the local fire, volunteer fire department would be a great way to just keep that thread of public service in my life. Where did you find time to spend two years doing an MBA? So I did my MBA at Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth. You are such an underachiever. <laughs> you do win and proud. How much have you raised? I launched the company with 210,000 in friends and family funding. Okay. And that's uh, 50K of my own money. Also, importantly, in terms of the scalability of our business, I launched a production partnership with Sorenex Exercise Equipment in May. Sorenex is one of the largest and most well-respected exercise equipment manufacturers in the country and is a contract for the United States Army to provide the equipment for the new Army Combat Fitness Test. We have the perfect tool to train soldiers. So I intend to generate the enterprise value in this company by selling institutionally to the military, to the fire service. Let's get into the business about what your distribution strategy is. We had $45,000 in sales, proving the concept in the B2B market. Last like, year. Who did you sell that to? Last year. Trainers, coaches, and small boutique okay, gyms. Okay, so you're talking about a variety of different markets there. So your $45,000 yes. was for what period? Mm -hmm. That was from July through the end of 2019. That's all your sales all in? That was all the sales 000. all in, okay. correct. Okay, so here we are So in here we are January 1st. I was lining up the Sorenex partnership so that we could be ready to scale to the future. And during this pandemic, that B2B market was effectively shut down completely. Right. We decided, well, what looks to be the way that we can scale the company forward is to pivot and to build a home uh, direct-to-consumer brand. What are your sales since you made that pivot? We immediately in April and May timeframe had $40,000 in sales. Wow. So in, in just those 10 weeks. That's great. And how so, did you get those what customers? You, what did you, you spend videos? digitally? Did you start trying different ads on Facebook? We did. And when we did that, we launched an iOS app that has a 150 plus movement library that's developed by my training partners who are the best in the business. We launched also a live online training platform program. So I'm following app, you. Do you like, for it? I'm watching you. Mm -hmm. I'm in my home. Mm -hmm. I'm watching my video and it's you doing yes. it with me. And what do I pay for that? Right, so the app model is that it's a free download. That's free. So if That's... I'm understanding correctly, the app is designed to create demand. And then you want people to download it for free so that they can order these from right. you. And then we do have a $19 okay. a month option where you can also then have And how many subscribers do you have for that? Complete workouts. We have 302. So let's walk through, because there's a lot of bouncing around here. Yes. Right? And Sorry, I understand that COVID. I'm trying to pull it together here. <laughs> with, with COVID, right, everybody's reacting and trying yeah. to be agile. So I get that. That's, yeah. But Sarah, you're all over the map, and you're not helping yourself with that. OK? You're drowning in opportunity. It's hard to be in a business and do one thing well. Mm -hmm. It's harder to be in a business and try to do multiple things you know, one minute you say you want to sell to firefighters and the Department of Defense. The next minute you have, you know, live online and you're building your community. The next second you want to work through your trainers and everybody's working this together and you want to direct to consumer. You can't take on 15 battles and expect to succeed in any of them. Hopefully you'll get a deal because you need help. Just going on the path that you're going, you are going to fail at this, right? So for those reasons, I'm out. I'm in this space with PRX. We had to go through the same pivot. Yeah. The digital pivot works. Yeah. And, and our sales are up 400% selling direct to consumers. But for me, I'm not going to invest because I'd be competing with myself in customer acquisition. I'm out. Look, you're one of the most impressive human beings we've ever seen. But the business side of it falls apart a little. When you came out, I said, oh my God, she is killing it. She's selling subscription classes online mm -hmm. and 
this is nothing, I'm paying for a subscription. But mm -hmm. yet your model seems to be, mm -hmm. let's sell a lot of these and use the subscription to somehow promote it. What I've learned in this industry is you gotta move really fast. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't moved online already, I don't know if you can make that transition at this point. I'm out. Sarah, listen to me. Okay. Um, everything they said is actually true. You're ridiculously impressive. You need to focus more, but I think you have incredible potential. I think your presentation can become something that inspires people. I think you can do something really, really big, and it's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of focus. I'm willing to take that journey with you because I'm just so inspired by your story. So I'm gonna give you one of two offers, depending on whether Lori wants to join me. Okay. Um, if she wants to join me, you get two sharks, 30% for $250,000. What would you offer her if it was just you alone? 25% myself. Sarah, I'm not gonna join Daniel on the offer. I feel that he's a partner that can bring a lot to the table for you. I think it's a better deal for you. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm out. Okay, so, so you're, Sarah, you, you have an offer okay. over here. 25% for $250,000. I think that's a generous number given where you're at in terms of dollars, but it's okay. knowing where you're gonna head. Yeah, um, I'm super grateful. So I'd like to counter at 250,000 for 20%, and it's a done deal, and <laughs> let's go I, do I it. respect the toughness of your counter, but the yeah. answer is no, because I'm already stretching myself to 25%. That already factors you in again, the okay. leadership be a great partner. Uh, potential. Co-captain Daniel Abetsky, yeah. woo! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Daniel. I'm so psyched. Congratulations. I mean, wow. And great feedback. I can't wait to work with you. Me too. Let me just... Yeah. <laughs> with a partner like Daniel, we can build a strategy for the future. As a woman-owned, veteran-owned company, young girls and women will look up to us and they will know what's possible. <laughs>